Hi guys. So welcome to another video of the Love Bubber 450 question series. I think this is the 11th part. And today we will be finishing off with matrix. We have already finished arrays. We have made eight videos on arrays. So if you have not watched the previous videos, you can always check it out in the playlist that I have made. I will put the link in the description. And also you can find the questions playlist also there. So if you like my work, please like, so, uh, share my videos and uh, subscribe to the channel. So yesterday we were left with three problems. Maximum size rectangle, find a specific pair, common elements in all rows of a given matrix. So today let us do these problems. Let us start with this problem, common elements in all rows. So given a matrix, we have to find common elements in all rows in O of M in time. So how to do this problem? This problem can be easily done by using a, a map. Let us take an unordered map. Let's call it M. And let us say the matrix is of, uh, you know, the dimensions of the matrix are R comma C. So first of all, we'll have to accept the input. So how to solve this problem? Like, even if we use map, how will it help us? So actually map is going to help us in, you know, getting to know like how many times that particular element has appeared in the matrix. Our element will appear in every single row. That time only we have to print that element. So I think you would have already understood how to approach this. If you have not understood, I'll still tell you. So first of all, let us scan through the first row. Okay. Let us scan through the first row. And the first row will be this. And we will say M of mat of zero of J is one. Now let us start from the second row. And now and now what we have to do is we have to just check if mat of i and j is equal to i. Okay, we have to check this. So we have to put it in a NIF statement. Then what we will do, we will say, we will increase the frequency of this element. We will make it I plus one. We will make it I plus one. So it has increased by one. And if I is equal to C minus one, that is if it is the last row, that means this particular element has appeared in all the rows. So we will output this. So if we have to take input, say, let us take this input only. I think in this problem, actually taking input will be tough. Here I have to, uh, I have to write down all the elements. So. I hope you have understood the code. I have also learned from GFG only and I'm telling from there. So I hope you have understood the code over here. It's the same thing. What you have to do is take a map and how will the map help us? A map will help us to find the frequency of each and every element. 
more than frequency i would say that it will help us tell whether that particular element is present in every row or not how to check that in this condition if that element frequency is equal to i we will make it i plus 1 and if it is the last row that we are checking in that means it has appeared in all the rows then we will say we will just output the element so this was actually a very easy problem made use of map at i think the complexity is m n log n or i don't know what ex i think it is going to be that i'm not sure exactly tell me in the comments what is going to be the complexity of this problem time complexity so now the remaining problems will be actually the remaining problems are also quite tough to explain it to you guys this problem maximum rectangle it also comes in dynamic programming i will tell you in more detail over there but now for now if you really want to understand right now i'll put a link to a video in the description explaining how to do it in stack because i have done it in stack but this is the first time i have done with stack i also don't know how to explain it to you guys i just recently learned it if you want a better explanation like to save your time i'll put a link in the description you watch that video but you can use dynamic programming as well as you can use stack over here so any approach will work and this problem find a specific pair in the matrix such that these conditions are satisfied it is almost like an implementation problem only actually i also looked up the solution in gfg this solution is o of uh, n power 4 and the other solution they are taking they are making use of extra space so honestly to tell you i also don't know how to exactly explain this problem to you it is an implementation problem you can see it up in gfg only i don't think anywhere else you'll find this kind of a problem uh, that's the only source even i learned from so i think that is best thing to do just to check it up in gfg because what they have done this problem can only be solved in this specific manner only like if you have to reduce the time complexity of this solution if you want to reduce the time complexity you have to solve in this method only like you have to take an extra space only and do it so this is a particular method you have to follow to solve this problem so it's better to remember it only i would say and uh, so this problem we have done and this problem in dp again it will come that time i will be more confident and i'll tell you the dp solution this is actually based on histogram so you have to know those things in order to understand this and uh, i am actually very clueless as to how to explain it to you guys in the best way otherwise it will look like i am just telling whatever is there in gfg only like and then you can look it up there itself na so i don't want to waste your time i really don't know how to explain this problem to you whatever i have understood i am still trying to understand how to get the better understanding out of it like i can write the code but i am still not at confident with how to explain it to you guys so for now let us skip this in dp again this problem will come so essentially we have solved matrix in this playlist sorry in this questions list matrix was very less only 10 questions there are other problems in the matrix also and even when dynamic programming is there uh, dp on a grid and all those things will also come matrix problems are generally little implementation type in uh, competitive programming so you have to use your own brain and at that moment if you get the answer it will be uh, it will be good otherwise it's it's just about imp implementation it should just click to you that's it but in this playlist you have to do some sorting some binary search so some kind of unique questions are also there here so if you want to practice more i say gfg is also a very good site although everything is there in gfg only but if you want to do tougher and tougher problems i would say do that only after doing these kind of problems otherwise you will be wasting your time like even this find a specific pair and all 
do this kind of a problem after you're thorough with other problems, which are more likely to be asked, like problems based on binary search, sorted matrix, all those things are a little more standard problems. So do them first. Because these problems, anyway, you have to look up the solution only. If you don't get it, there is no other way. You have to find the solution on GFG. So that's all. So matrix is over. And next, we'll be starting with string. String, there are many, many problems, but some of them are easy only. So please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.